Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news that global manufacturing indicators have turned quite positive. First in China, their official March PMIs have set a bullish tone to start the week. Their official factory PMI rose to an expansion level and export orders also recovered. The official services PMI rose to its highest level since June. These were followed by the private Kaijin factory PMI, and that broadly confirmed to improved outlook and a new expansion, actually a 13-month high. This apparent recovery energised the Shanghai Stock Exchange yesterday. And in Japan, industrial production fell and their jobless rate rose, both not expected. But that data was for February. For March, their central bank sentiment survey of mostly large businesses remained broadly positive. And in South Korea, industrial production rose, and by more than expected. In the US, the widely watched ISM factory PMI also shifted into expansion mode on the strength of new order levels. It joins the internationally benchmarked market one, which had already moved to expansion in the previous month. But it was the the size of the shift in the ISM one that got market attention, enough that the view formed it will keep the Fed from cutting rates anytime soon. Both showed prices are no longer falling. So perhaps it will be no surprise to know that the University of Michigan sentiment index rose more than expected to its highest level since July 2021. In Australia, inflation expectations, which had been stuck at 4.5% since December, actually slipped slightly in March to 4.3%. And while this may be its lowest since October 2021, it does emphasise just how sticky Aussie CPI inflation has become. Meanwhile, China has dropped its tariffs on Australian wine after years of sanctions that crippled the billion dollar export industry. The US Treasury 10 year yield is now at 4.33% and up 14 basis points from the end of trading last week. And the price of gold will start today firmer by $7 at $2,240 an ounce. Oil prices have risen a dollar to just on $84 a barrel in the US, while the international bread price is now over $87.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today at just on 59.4 US cents and 35 basis points lower than this time yesterday. Against the Aussie, we're unchanged at 91.6 Australian cents. Against the Euro, we're holding at 55.4 Euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index starts today at just on 69 and down 20 basis points from this time yesterday. You can get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston. And we'll do this again tomorrow.